Don't forget to check out and grab your copy of our two newly released books, Football, A Love Story, and What Did Football Teach Me? These books feature over 100 stories from current and former coaches, players, executives, and entertainers from across the football landscape describing what got them involved in a game, what they love about it, and what life lessons the game taught them. You can find your copy or order your copy from our website at footballgameplan.com slash books. What we do here is go back, 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 back. Welcome to footballgameplan.com where football makes sense. I'm Emery Hunt, the czar of the playbook, bring you our 2016 NFL draft grades video for the Philadelphia Eagles. We're going to take a look at every draft selection they made as well as some undrafted free agents that you want to keep an eye on. The Eagles gave up a healthy amount to draft Carson Wentz, so they had a lot of later round picks that they had to maximize. And if we're being honest, the Eagles have more than enough talent to compete this year in the NFC East. So building depth along the offensive line and on the defensive side of football were key. I thought they did a great job in accomplishing those goals. Obviously, the draft will be judged on the success of Carson Wentz, the quarterback out of North Dakota State. Now, can he play? Absolutely. Was he worth the number two pick? I can't answer that, but the coaches and GM essentially did when they said he'll have to sit for a year or two. In my opinion, that's not what you trade all the all that draft capital for to get up and get a guy that has to sit for two years. I think it should throw Wentz out there as a day one rookie starter. You only get better by playing, and the only way he'll get up to speed is with live game reps. Wentz won't embarrass himself because he's not a terrible player. He can definitely rely on his athleticism early on until the game starts to slow down by the first quarter of the season is done. You play the rookie, let him fight his way through it, and have success. I like the Isaac Sumalo selection out of Oregon State. With this pick, the Eagles landed a talented interior offensive lineman that's capable of excelling at guard or center. Great value here for Philadelphia. Another value pick was Jalen Mills out of LSU, and Mills, in my opinion, is a better safety than he is a corner, but he does have the ability to play both, a la Malcolm Jenkins. He'll provide quality depth on the back end. The Eagles signed an underrated second-level defender in Mike Tavares out of Incarnate Word out of the Southland Conference in the FCS. I call him the FCS version of Miles Jack because of what he brings to the table from an athleticism standpoint. Tavares can rush the passer, and his read and recognition skills are definitely off the charts. I think he can make an impact as a Will or a Sam as a reserve defender. Aziz Shatu out of Stanford had an excellent week of practice at the East-West Shrine game this year, a 6'3", 280-pound defensive end that has the ability to kick down inside on passing downs as a defensive tackle. He's another player with a great chance to stick for the Eagles. Running back Cedric O'Neill was a highly productive player for Valdosta State, outstanding Division II program down in Georgia. He's good in every facet of the game. As a runner, as a receiver, also in pass protection, he's a one-cut downhill runner that can also help out as a kickoff returner. Two tryout players to keep an eye on this rookie minicamp, quarterback Kyle Washington out of Angelo State is a tremendous talent. He got significantly better each and every year and broke a ton of school, conference, and NCAA passing records. I actually had him graded higher than Carson Wentz. You can check out my scouting report on him at footballgameplan.com slash FBGP scouting. Even though he's only a tryout guy, with the way this Sam Bradford situation is playing out, the Eagles may have to bring in an additional arm to training camp, and if Washington is that guy, he'll stand out with his play. The other tryout invite is Princeton's cornerback Anthony Gaffney, the four-time all-Ivy League performer excels in zone coverage and has above average awareness and ball skills. He can play corner and safety as well, which gives him an excellent chance to stick. I gave the Eagles a C-plus for their draft. I like the depth that they built along the offensive line and also on the defensive side of the football. I didn't like the capital that they gave up to move all the way to number two, and that'll ultimately be what we revisit two to three years from now. However, the Eagles really hit some home runs, in my opinion, in the undrafted free agent department with a bevy of guys that have a real chance to make the roster.